Uh, first off, I will be taking a piece of chicken and, and divide that with this. As for, as you see, I've done some, but I'm going to show you how to do some more. It is better to do this halfway frozen, so it doesn't, it doesn't like juice everywhere. And it's easier to cut. I'm cutting this into bite sized pieces for the tacos. While getting ready for the chicken and cooking it, have you cook it with a spatula while it's cooking it and just stir it around. It will turn eventually turn brown and that's when it's fully cooked. And no paint on the outside. Done. Done. Okay, let's have one cup of lemonade. One tablespoon of lime. I have two ta tablespoons of olive oil. That's it for the liquid ingredients. Um, then I have one, one and a half teaspoon of are you powder? Powder because also calls for one and a half teaspoons of onion powder. And a half right here. And then have one tea, one and a half teaspoon of for sure sauce of one teaspoon. Now I add in the half. After that, I take my spatula. Stir everything up. Divide the ingredients all together. And then I'll let this sit there for three minutes after I'm stirring. And then also for your chicken tacos, you choose any toppings or if you with it. I just choose a head of lettuce, and some cheddar cheese, and soft tortillas. And sour cream. You can choose whatever you want, you add more or less. And that's about it. I'm done. Okay. See, it's almost done, but see here, there's still a few pieces that are pink. So you have to keep cooking until all the pieces are completely brown and not pink anymore. And then when you're done with that, I will show you how to drain it. Okay, now I'll put the greasy chicken into the strainer to strain out the grease. Hang out the side for a few minutes. And then, do this. And then I will start reaching out the chicken with water. And then I'll put back into the pan. Then you'll go over here and then add the ingredients. Make sure you put it on the opposite side where you didn't have the heat because it could be cooking the chicken and the ingredients where you just cooked it. Because if you see over here, it's still hot over here when you cook your ingredients. So now over here on my ingredients, I'm going to measure. Just call it by some lemonade. Okay, 
just take this off. Okay, whatever. I'll just pour it off. Or else it'll be forever. Hi. Is there anything in the hit song? No. Other ingredients I have two tablespoons of olive oil. <coughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get all the ingredients while I'm squirting this in here. Uh, tablespoon of lime. Half a teaspoon 